Hey y'all, today we're going to show you how we make a Philly cheesesteak meatloaf in our slow cooker. Oh, I'm having a whole lot of fun. <laughs> I need goggles. <laughs> this isn't like double dare. Hi, welcome back to another edition of Cooking Chris's Dishes with the good old boy. And today we are going to show you something amazing. See, last week... My wife says, here, eat this. She says that quite a bit, and she has a high percentile rating of how good the stuff is, but I don't know if maybe it's because I was outside working all day or what it was, but I took one bite and went, holy moly, this gets put on a video toot sweet. See, usually the turnaround for the videos from when we taste a recipe, to making a, a blog post for it, to making a video for it, could be upwards to a couple months, some of them a couple of years. This one was less than a week, because it's just that dang good. You well, know how good? No, 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 wait. It's also because the leftovers, <laughs> we ate the leftovers once, Yeah. and it, there was a little bit left over for maybe another portion. And I was really looking forward to it. And poor Addie comes to me and says, Mommy, I am so, so sorry. I dropped the crock pot. Now, the crock pot sh shattered, but everyone in the house was more concerned that the meatloaf <laughs> got ruined because it's the crock pot just that broken. good. Poor kid. And she's at church camp this week, so I'm going to make it, I'm going to eat it, and she's not going to get it, and that's her punishment for dropping my meatloaf leftovers. But let's, let's go ahead and talk about what is in this meatloaf besides meat? <laughs> so we have two pounds of lean ground beef and we want to use lean ground beef because this is a meatloaf. So the more fat in your ground beef, the smaller your meatloaf is going to be because it's going to shrink up and the fat's all going to, to go on the outside. Yes. So we don't do extra lean, but we do do lean so that it's more meatloaf than um, that. Um, and then we have Italian seasoning. One tablespoon. Uh, minced dried garlic. Two teaspoons. And minced dried onion. Two tablespoons. We have some shredded Parmesan cheese. Three quarters of a cup. Some eggs. Two. And then we've, uh, you've already sauteed. I started to grab it by the pan and I know it's still hot. <laughs> yes, in the skill of the, the, wow, we practiced that. In the skillet, you have one uh, chopped up green pepper and then you also have four ounces of fresh mushrooms. Yes. These are fresh mushrooms. These are cremini or baby bellas I think mm -hmm. and you kind of want to chop them up into little bite-sized pieces like that. Could you use canned if you wanted to like a four ounce can? You could. I think it has a little bit more um, bulk to it mm -hmm. whenever you cook the fresh and this is cooked sauteed in butter. Yes. Yes. You could do oil if you wanted to but we like the butter. And then to give a Philly cheesesteak flavor, we have lots and lots of provolone cheese. Yes, we have 16 ounces of provolone cheese. So if you were to like put this on a scale, you got two pounds of beef, you got a pound of cheese, plus all the other fixings there, you've got over three pounds, it's, close it's to four lot, pounds of food. But it's very good. That added dropped on the floor. No. <laughs> but here's the deal. If you're not a huge cheese fan, you could probably cut the cheese we use. <laughs> I Sorry. Forgot. You could probably reduce the cheese in this recipe by half, but if you are a big, like, you love the chili or the Philly cheese steak sandwiches with all the stringy cheese, trust me, this is amazing. Don't, don't cut the cheese. <laughs> Leave it there. Michael. Leave it there. I'm saying don't scrimp. Use the cheese. This is a lot of food. This yeah. will go a well, long way. Well, this is like, uh, about eight servings. Yes. So. It'll, it'll go a long ways. It makes for great leftovers. If you don't care about carbs, you could make it into a sandwich. Or it's four servings if your child drops the rest on the floor. Adeline! Oh, leave poor Addie alone. <laughs> poor kid, she felt so bad. She anyway, did. <laughs> oh, also salt, pepper to taste. Yes. So, let's put it together. What do you want to do first? Okay, so we're going to take the ground beef and we're going to add the salt, the pepper, and the seasonings in. How much salt? Meh, as much as you want yeah, to. Yeah, salt and pepper to taste. You're also going to salt and pepper your mushrooms and your pepper while you are mm -hmm. putting it together. So 
don't go too hard on the salt and pepper in this because you can always salt and pepper it later. Well, and there's lots of other seasonings too, so it's not like you have to do that. So yes. we're going to just dump in the onion, the garlic, and the, um, the what was that? Oh, Italian, Italian seasoning. seasoning. Oh, she just had to open the drawer on my floor. Uh, this is your Parmesan cheese. I'm just going to go on and beat up the eggs so then that way it doesn't, um, it isn't difficult to mush. Yes. So now... You take your handy dandy mixing utensil, which is my hand, I told that him, I did clean. I told him he could uh, use the... Um, oh, zing, like the little mix and chop kind of thingy, but he insisted on using his hands. And I'm using my good hand because I hurt my finger the other day whilst I was rebuilding my wife's deck. <laughs> I could use a little pity party right now. Yes. Three, Let's, two, one. Poor, poor thing. Oh, there we go. So you want to okay. mix up your meatloaf, kind of get all that cheese and that yep. egg mixed together and then... We're going to add in the fixing. Make a pit right there in the middle. Yep. Now, if this mixture is still hot, it's not. be careful. Yeah, this has cooled down just a little bit, but like if you're doing this like right. you should be, then well, that's going to be hot. Don't burn your hands. I'll also say from a should be standpoint, since we are using the Ninja, we've got a little um, ahead of ourselves with our prep. So we didn't use the Ninja to cook all this in. But one of the advantages of using the Ninja is that you could have sauteed all this yep. in there. So you're going to mix all this up and then you want to divide it in half. And I just flung the mushroom on the floor. That here in a minute. Yeah. I'll clean that up later. Yeah, I'm sure I will. <laughs> you know why I love mushrooms in this recipe? Because I'm such a fun guy. <laughs> and then you get her all mixed up. Yep. Just and like that. Then we want to take half of the mixture and press it down into the bottom of a six quart slow cooker. So I will do that by dividing this in. Well, right down the middle, just like that. And just take it in there and slap it in your slow cooker just like that. Now, if you're only using half of the cheese, you could put the whole thing in, and we're just going to save the cheese for later. But trust me. But if you're going to go with me on all the cheese, we want a nice, cheesy filling her. on this. So we're going to take half of our cheese right now, and we're going to put in between the two layers of uh, meat. Do you want me to put this on there? Sure. Okay. We're going to save the other half of our cheese. We're going to go ahead and put it back in the refrigerator until after cooking. Yes. Okay, so give me... Go ahead. Okay. So... I'll save my meat hand. Okay. And it's okay if the cheese overlaps. In a six-quart slow cooker, usually you do two rows of four and then a row down the middle, and it covers it right up. Oh, really? It did on the last time I did it. Oh. Are you going to prove me wrong? Uh, no, I think it, I am doing about the same of what you're. I just do it a you're little bit. You're doing it like I'm doing. Well, that means you're doing it right. Yeah, I think the ninja. <laughs> Not even a comment. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was focused on the cheese, um, <laughs> and not you. <laughs> so. Boom! Just like there that. There we go. And then you want to take your other half of the mixture and put it right on top of that layer of cheese and flatten it out where you cover your cheese up. Just like that. Boom. You got your meatloaf sandwiched in on top of that cheese. Got a little spot there I need to cover up. And then once you get your cheese covered up with that second batch of meat, that other pound, plus your mushrooms and your peppers, then you want to put a lid on it. And you want to cook it on hot for two hours. Two to three hours or until your ground beef reaches about, I like to cook my ground beef to about 170. Mm -hmm. So, um, and then when it's cooked after those two hours to three hours, then you want to take your second half, your other eight okay. ounces of Don't cheese. Talk with your so hands. You the other <laughs> eight ounces of cheese and you want to layer it on top and then just cook it for a little bit longer Tough until melts. all that cheese melts down. And we will come back in the swiftness of a snap and we will show you what it looks like going into my belly in three, two, one. And just like that, my hand is clean and the meatloaf is done. We went ahead and put the Parmesan cheese... Provolone. 
that's what it is. We went ahead and put the provolone cheese over the top of it, let it melt down, because that step's pretty easy. And when you get done with it, it looks just be like that. Be careful tipping it, because yeah, there's yeah, be oil around there's the oil outside. and some moisture coming out of there. But we're going to do this. We are going to cut a little piece off to show you all, look how stringy that is. The cheesy goodness. Oh my goodness. Right there it is. Oh, and it's still hot. Look at that. Go ahead, raise that up. Look at all that cheese. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Like I said, y'all, turn around between the discovery of a really good recipe and getting it on tape for y'all usually takes some time unless it's as good as this. It skipped the editorial calendar. Yeah, it did. It went straight to the top. You want to grab a piece of that? And we will give this a taste test just to show you. Now, I'm going to come to you real quick. I want to show you something. You should show them the, is the layer. I'm going to show you why you don't cut the cheese. Look right there in the middle. Look at that, that layer of cheese right there. And of course, you got some mushroom. There's some pepper. I don't know about you, but I'm not going to wait and come back around. I'm just going to do right here, which is... Uh, holy moly, y'all. Oh, my gosh. And to me, it totally tastes... It has the flavor of a Philly cheesesteak. Right? Hey, look. That's what we put together. That's the finished product. We now have over six pounds of meatloaf. And he's going to eat it before Eddie gets home. <laughs> and we cooked them in our Cuisinart as well as our Ninja, which are both metal crocs. So even if I drop them, they should last and be okay. <laughs> and if not, I'm probably going to eat this stuff off the floor because it's just that good. Speaking of just that good, mm -hmm. if you think that this video is good enough to like it, give us a thumbs up down below. Also, if you have not become a member of the Croc Posse, please do so. All you gotta do is click that little subscribe button. Button? I was chewing too fast. <laughs> All you have to do is click that little subscribe button down below, and then right next to it, we got this little handy dandy little bell. We call it the ding -a ling And if you click it, you will know as soon as we put up another video. And whatever you do, laugh often. Eat good food. Oh, I think I will. <laughs> oh, and speak life. Bye, guys. Bye. Hey, honey, are you supposed to not be being seen right now? You can't see me. <laughs> you can't. Oh, you can't. <laughs> okay. I'm old and I don't want to bend over anymore. Okay. That is serious. Three, <laughs> two, one, quiet! <laughs> Good job. If you want to see the latest, click on the left right here. If you feel like subscribing, click on the right, my dear. And if you think we're funny, enough to send us money, click the Patreon link below.